Yo, what's up guys and welcome into a brand new Phasmophobia development update. We are very close to Halloween and the console release, so this update is going to be all about that. We are going to check this out together in this video, so I hope you're joining me for that, but let's not waste any more time and let's hop right into this preview. Alright, let's see what they have to say about the console update. As we still try to adapt to our new remote working life after the fire incident and to establish a new office, we've encountered unforeseen challenges in adapting the game for consoles. These combined factors have affected our development timeline more than we initially anticipated. Additionally, in preparation for the PlayStation VR 2 launch, we have been diligently reviewing the game's performance and optimizing it across all maps to ensure a seamless experience for all our console players. In this regard, we had to rework Maple Lodge campsite with a completely new layout, oh boy, more information below. This decision, though time consuming for our art team, is essential to provide the best possible gameplay experience. While we had hoped to present you with a special launch alongside the Halloween event, the complexity of our current challenges means that we need more time. We will keep you updated on our progress and provide a revised release date as soon as we have more information to share. We are working diligently to minimize the impact of this delay and we want to express our sincere gratitude for your continued support. We promise when Phasmophobia arrives on console, it will be worth the wait. So there we go, it will be delayed again, but I kinda expected that because it's not an easy task to bring the game to consoles. I still think it may have been better to release this game on consoles for the 1.0 release. So I hope it's not gonna take them too long to release it because it's also gonna delay everything else, right? But let's have a look at the new Maple Lodge campsite, shall we? Maple Lodge campsite was the first new location added when the team was first expanded. It was made reasonably quickly and therefore had some issues regarding performance due to long sidelines, forcing the player to render many objects at once. With this in mind, CJ and our new artist Zek have worked together to create a brand new layout. It features a new reception building, more hiding spots, new decorative assets and better performance across the board. That is amazing because the hiding spots on campsite are actually crap. And here we see a screenshot of this reception with a nice little doll here which seems like a, a voodoo doll, a modified voodoo doll or something like that. And a floating cup, right? It's already cursed. And they also added a storage area. Look at that. Looks actually pretty spooky. With some crates here. Uh, that is already great because uh, I'm probably gonna loop ghosts around this crate here. I wonder what the new layout is gonna be. It's hard to tell from these two screenshots, but uh, I guess we have to wait and see, right? And they are actually doing a Halloween event. Hallelujah. This year for Halloween, we'll be encouraging our ghost hunters to create a potion in their very own cauldron found in the reworked Maple Lodge campsite location. Oh, that's cool. Completing the event will reward players with a new ID card patch and a new trophy for their collection. And they are now even prominently show this on the start screen. I wonder if you can click on this or if it's just a title, but that's pretty cool. Players will need to hunt down the recipe cards found in several other locations, then head back to the campsite and create their ghostly concoction. I hope I pronounced that right. Additionally, both the campsite and lobby have been decorated with newly created spooky decorations for the seasonal period. And here we see the cauldron on campsite with the spooky decorations. I really dig this. Honestly, looking at this, I wish this would stay as an option. They are also saying that this event will launch around October 26th. I'm really happy that they are doing something for Halloween. I feared that they actually skip it for the console release. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of all of this. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.